the movie I decided to watch was The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Um, I'd never seen it before. And I heard it was a really, really funny movie. So I went for that one. Um, the hallmark that I chose, or like the first one that I chose, was familiar faces in a leading role. Um, because besides like the main character, is who is played by Steve Carell, um, there's like so many different people that you see that like you recognize, like Paul Rudd, Seth Rogen, um, Jonah Hill is even in it for like a second, Elizabeth Banks, Romney Malco. I don't I don't know his name, but like I've seen him in so many things. But yeah, that's the first one. There was like just everywhere you look, you'd see different famous people, different celebrities that you knew that were famous at the time. And then for my second one, I discussed, or I kind of focused on the centered around romantic ideals or like true love. Because in the 40 year old version, the main character, his name is Andy. And he and Trish, who is the other a girl main character, um, they fall in love despite what other people are like telling Andy to do. Like they're all telling Andy like, no, you need to like meet a bunch of women before you meet like the one you really like. But for Andy, he doesn't see that as being right. So his whole point of view um, for like the whole movie it's like that he's in love with Trish and he just like, kind of follows that guideline. And so, yeah, I kind of thought that that was the movie was centered kind of around that true love ideal for Andy. Um, and then comparing it to it happened one night, I thought that it was different. It was similar in different ways, but one way it was different was because the main hallmark in it happened one night is like that females are like the leading role with Ellie having the main character. Whereas in the 40 year old version, it's a man like Andy, who's the main character. So I feel like that was one big difference and that kind of changes the way the movie is perceived. Um, but also they're similar in the way that it's centered around true love, like in the 40 year old or in it happened one night Ellie realizes that like she and Peter are like, the movie makes it seem like they're truly in love, which they didn't even know. So that kind of changes how like the movie, um, because she realizes that she's really in love with Peter and not the king. So that kind of outlines the rest of the movie. And same with the 40 year old version, he realizes that he's truly in love with Trish and that kind of is what the whole movie is based about and if I could change one thing about the movie the 40 year old, 40 year old version I would probably I would, I would make Jonah Hill appear more because Jonah Hill is so naturally funny and I think he should have been in the movie more because I think that would have made it 10 times more funny, but yeah.